This week on the show, we're featuring Obsidian, Ten Jokes, Jacob's Extravagant Christmas List, another one-minute game of chess, and a scratch-off lottery ticket. The following show contains exposure to low-grade entertainment.
Which side of the boat does the captain look out of? The sea side. Let's start the show. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the program. As I mentioned before, we're going to be scratching a lottery ticket. Going to play another one minute game of chess. Read you my extravagant Christmas list. And of course we're going to shape up a little bit of his obsidian. Welcome to the show. This is this week's Mountain Dew. I even got my my uh, coaster towel folded all up and rolled up and ready and cold. It's freezing. Such a chilly glass. Mm. Oh no! Duck and cover! Oh man, we were getting raided there. But that's all right. The general came in and took us out. General Boom Doom came in with uh, Joni e. Rotten. Actually, I don't know where the general is right now. I hope he's having a great day. But Joan made it. How's it going, Joan? I'm so glad. Did I showed you those little boxes I made, right? Man, those were those were a uh, fun little craft, and they totally made me think of your channel because you're always like crafting and stuff. How are you doing with your shawl? Crochet, crochet with your crochet. How is that going? I wonder if Perth calls it crochet. I thought this would be an interesting point of video view, like you know the camera work, uh, because you get to see me adjusting everything, and I'm setting, I'm setting it, so you can see some of the little intricate methods of how I try to make it work. Uh, let's see. I got a couple of announcements. First, I wanted to mention the stone of the week. When we get to the ruby portion, um, I think I'm going to change that to the microscope portion because the, the ruby, I'm getting slow to process that. But I want to show you on the microscope some of this obsidian that is still in the matrix. And it's, it's basically a piece of uh, nodular glass. And I don't have the original video where it's still like this. Because that piece started being shaped maybe three years ago, two or three years ago. Long time ago. Anyway, fast forward to now, I glued it on a dop and that way I was able to straighten it out. Hey, Gromies made it. Awesome. Hey, Jerry Acklin. Press chess, chess Pro. Merry Christmas Raid. Awesome. Thanks for coming by, Jerry. I appreciate that. It's good to see you, dude. And, uh, man, we got some fantastic people. Ron made it. It's good to see. Actually, Ron, you were, like, number two in uh, having gemstones. And I think the only person with more points in gemstones is um, Chris, the Phenomenon. <clears throat> Which, actually, hey, Patrick Knee, thanks for coming. Hey, I appreciate the raid. You guys are so fantastic. I don't even know what to say. I, I well actually I should know what to say because I tried to have some content but I need to I'm thinking I need to have more topics and I think that like okay so the cure for stage fright is content right so that's kind of where we are I got like 30 minutes of this I got uh, 10 jokes I'm I'm kind of proud of my Christmas list I was working on that for a while it's supposed to be a funny extravagant Christmas list I hope that you know it, it makes you laugh and brings you joy um, I kind of updated part of the program. We're trying to add an interview portion. Yeah. I actually have three interviews lined up. Sort of. I mean, it's nothing set in stone, but they all agreed to do the interviews. And so now I just, like, you know, we're, we're really close to the holidays and the end of the year. And everybody's got specials and this is kind of a last minute thing. But really we're more planning on the start of the new year. So once we get into the new year then I'm gonna be having like th three or more interviews that would be really cool so I wanna have like an interview portion of the show I'm gonna change up that ruby and we're gonna actually finish out more with that ruby but I like showing 
you know, a little bit of the actual gem under the microscope, so let's just call it the microscope program, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. The microscope portion, I guess. Microscope program, we could call it that too. Interviews, can't wait. Oh, hey, yeah, and Joan, I, like, I got, like, actual people to interview. Yeah, and it's like, like, okay, so, uh, I guess two of them interviewed for Conan O'Brien, and, um, I gotta, I gotta learn more about, like, their history and stuff, but anyway, uh, one of them's a producer, and is really funny, and one of them's a comedian, and is really, really funny, and one of them's a reporter, and he's really, really cool. So, we're gonna actually be getting ready to hype those and feature them over the next few weeks. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh, there was something that somebody asked, and I wanted to say something about Colette. Colette... You know, Colette, there's 12 days of Christmas. Just saying, there's 12 whole days of Christmas. I didn't get your rotor light ready by Christmas. I can't. Apparently, the math doesn't work. I'm not going to be able to get it to you by Christmas Day. The glue doesn't dry fast enough. The fa I, I can't. The faceter is so slow. But it's, it's better that we use the faceter. And you should have it before New Year's. I'm going to send J uh, Colette... Uh, just one more package and it's gonna involve a piece of rotolite that I'm trying to facet and that we're actually gonna feature in another week or two so um, let's see we've got pretty much everything lined up and rolling so we've got <clears throat> yeah the game of chess we'll do that at the end of the show uh, probably the game of chess will be before the lottery ticket. That's what I was thinking. And then it'll be, you know, we'll do the microscope portion, the joke portion, and then the, the features. Yeah. It says upcoming features, but I should be, you know, where do I feature the features? So it's like, what's my upcoming features? Well, I can tell you my upcoming features are probably... <clears throat> we have one more two non-doctor gem. This one uh, was sent to Liz Melee. And she's a comedian, and we'd love to have her on the show, right? And Maria Shahada is next week's feature. I'd love to have her on the show, because she's really hilarious. She's a comedian over in England. And so we're going to try and, and, and feature the last two non-Doctor Gem next week, and then I've got a Peridot that I want to feature and an Iolite, and those are all lined up. Then I'm out of gems. Then i got to make sure I get something. Oh, crap, I missed out on the chats. Is and I, yeah, I was actually going to look at Colette's thing. Yep, I'm on time, Colette. What a, oh, gem credits for Fortnite. Fallout. And no, but I did try to get that to work out. And we need to actually take the time to fix that chatbot. However, I did actually spruce up my chatbot this time around. That way, um, once we have an interview going on, it will drop the person's link in the chats. And it'll, you know, give them more of their electrical accoutrement that comes with the interview portion of the program. All my packages are gonna be late. Um, all of them? What, what packages? I'm not sure. Oh, all your packet. Yeah, it's the part of the shipping season. But uh, I, well, I mean, it might still make it. I don't know. I've got it, I've got it half done. I needed to get it flipped over and the table's done, but I need to actually flip it to the other side and get that glue to dry enough so that I can take the glue off the other side and I've tried doing it early and it always it it turns it just causes problems and I regret it so I I wait for it to dry and hopefully I can actually get it out of out out the door and you know I don't know if it'll actually make it to you by Christmas but it should make it before New Year's I think, I th well, I mean, you know, you got two of them, so you got your first two packages, but we're going to get you your third one before New Year's, hopefully, because I wanted it to be a surprise for Christmas. I mean, I wanted it, you know, a Christmas surprise. My package, unfortunately, my package delivers early. Jerry, that is hilarious, dude. And Jamie made it. Jamie made it just in time for Jerry's joke. Man, <laughs> Jerry's classic. Honest and I would be the gem kings. Oh, dude, Gromies. I can't believe I was like nine hours of gaming greatness. And it was like actually nine hours, 29 minutes, and 17 seconds. Not that I'm counting. The ones I'm sending, I totally understand. Oh, and speak of the gem king, Chris the Phenomenon's in here. Stopping to say hi. Got some unexpected company. Oh, yep, that's what happens. But, the uh, you know, Chris, if you... if 
if you have the the most gems Ron is coming up on you fast I bet they are Joan says Joan is great and Jerry's great oh man you guys are all fantastic I can't believe you came by I got actually I gotta get Joan up on panel for an interview and uh, man Jamie she's Jamie the game game Gamey Jamie, Jamie the Gamer, Jamie the Jamie Gamer. She's great. We got to get her up on panel for an interview because she's fantastic. And she's been such an OG to the show. Um, how far are we along in this video? Oh, that reminds me. I only have one video. But the video, since I'm not using the DSLR anymore, I act that like. I'm not limited to 20 minutes. It's a 32 minute video. We're not going to play all the 32 minutes of the video. We're actually going to kind of switch over to the microscope portion because you guys saw me set up. I can't believe I don't have the other half of this gem. That would make way more sense. It must still be on my phone or something. Or maybe this is the video. Because actually right now I'm cutting the bottom of the gem. And then I glue it on the thing with the transfer dot. And then and then on the other side. Either way, we're going to figure this out one thing at a time. And that's why we're going to skip to... Jacob knows how to use a microscope portion. Dump that ruby. <coughs> Not much. Not much has been up with that ruby. I I have not done anything with that ruby, and I want to kind of cut it down, but I mean, we pretty much covered all that's up with the ruby. <clears throat> now, somewhere along the ways, these two pieces fit together. This is, oh, there it is. And so, this is some of the, the matrix, some of the silica matrix and marble that is, um, formed with the volcanic eruption and then these nodules of glass I don't really know exactly how it separates but I guess it's kinda of like rain and ash and this kinda of turns glassy so let's go ahead and stick it under this microscope and see if we can show you so this see see how it has that that refractance that uh, shininess I guess the wet look yeah, that's all glassy from this obsidian, and it's giving me red problems. So we'll change that to something that might work, possibly. We'll try overlay. And then when I flip it over, it's still got a little bit of that glassiness, but it's kind of powdery, kind of sedimentary. So it really depends on where it was when it was formed. And then this is the obsidian itself, and it is translucent. It's it looks very dark. There we go. See some of that that shine that brown shine coming through. Okay, let's change the renderer one more time for me, baby. And it it, that's the refractance is kind of that chocolateness, but it's usually more gray than than most uh, like like champagne quartzes. Even though they're pretty much the same stuff. I mean, they're they're glass. They have inclusion. All right, so that's not going to work. Maybe I can do it this way, and we can show you there it's very translucent stuff I mean you can see right on into it you just gotta polish it up it's beautiful too and the facets really flare out I mean it's glass but it's naturally formed glass and some of it has striations within it let's get this piece with the obsidian on it under the microscope let's see if we can change to seven and there it is kind of in the in the actual matrix it's kind of cracked but it's still holding together the matrix is all through in yeah that's my finger there's my finger you guys ever wanted to know now you do and uh, I, I'm not gonna take this one out of the matrix I mean this this is just too cool of a piece I think this is one of the only ones that I have in matrix I have a couple more but I think this one's in the biggest piece of Matrix. 
so it just kind of stays in the museum as a collection piece but some of them were kind of worth faceting so I was like let's facet up some Apache's tears which um, it's a type of obsidian we also have snowflake obsidian and uh, I'll get caught up in the chats just in a moment but I, what I wanted to show you guys was a couple of these great pieces of obsidian that <laughs> Colette, <laughs> Colette sent to me and she packed the box with candy as packing material which is why this sheared off Tootsie Roll is mashed onto the bottom <laughs> This is a big piece of volcanic glass. You got to be careful with it. This was used to make hatchets and uh, arrowheads. Actually, there was probably an arrowhead chipped right out of that. Isn't that cool? The big old piece. This piece is not translucent. It, uh, yeah, you can't see a diggity ding darn dong thing through there. But I'll poke it under the microscope cam here, and you can see some of the large colloid. I mean, look at the size of this colloid. And then I got one other piece that we're going to look at under the microscope cam that is translucent. And it's got a bunch of inclusions in it. Okay, that's not really doing us any good because it's so close. It's too closely. But yeah, those are the, the colloids, the, the waves through the glass when it was formed weak spots so it's kinda like and then you know it's been sand, sand blasted over time uh, just a little grind little grind little bump little grind little bump and grind but anyway yeah this is a big old chunk and that's all that's actually that sheared off of a bigger chunk that I can't even get out of here without like tipping a bunch of this other stuff over but I can get uh, oh, Oh my, my back, my back, my butt, oof, all that side, yep, more candy, good old, look at this piece of obsidian, this thing is big, look at how big it is, <laughs> hey, hey Jamie, can't tell me you don't want to eat that, it's already got the candy on it, you know it's chocolate flavored ish. Uh, let's see if we can get some light to shine through this at all. I wanted to show some of this uh, um, included translucent stuff. But that's not really coming through. So we're going to look at one of these ones that's translucent-y. Uh oh, there it goes. We can do this. Live! This is live, people. You don't, you don't get it. You don't get any more real than this. All right, so watch this. This is the light behind it. So it's got some translucency in there, and all those inclusions. Let's see if we can see any of it when I put uh, the. It, I'll, I'll put it on a flashlight, cell phone, and I will put the cell phone under the microscope cam. Hey, Lizard King made it. Alright, I'm going to get caught up in the chat right after I show you guys this and before we start the joke portion of the program. But I wanted to show this piece of obsidian here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Ah, oh, you dirty dog. It keeps changing on me. Okay, one of those. I think uh, recording priority probably works as the best render, but it still only lasts for a little while. Wonder if I need to get a better microscope or just better driver. Maybe we maybe we could try something other than smart camera. Yeah, it looks like there's some inclusions, but it would be nice to polish it out and see just a little bit better what ones are surface inclusions and what ones are are deep down inclusions. I don't know. It's pretty neat though. That's what we were looking at. Another piece of obsidian from Glass Butte, Oregon. That was, uh, let's see if I have any other pieces of obsidian. No, but I have a piece of rhodolite so you can kind of see what I'm working on for Colette. And we're going to be getting into before too long on the show. And then I can get caught up on the chats. Because y'all are fantastic for coming by and, and taking the time to say hello. 
and wish everyone to have a whole bunch of happy holidays, a very, very Merry Christmas, and a happening New Year. All right, okay, so your chats are fantastic and appreciated, and I probably missed a bunch of great ones. Enough already. Oh, Ron, I don't know why the other chat bot's not working. I wonder if we could power cycle it. I'm actually going to take second to try and see where the other chatbot is maybe they pulled it out of here maybe we don't have that chatbot anymore I know they made some changes to OBS but I was actually looking at the difference between Streamlabs OBS and regular OBS you know the OBS that I use on the game cha on the chatbot channel and the other OBS has transitions so we might be switching OBS's and Streamlabs from one to the other so, I mean, you know, that, that actually could be heading to bed, gonna listen till I fall asleep. Oh, good night, Joan. I will actually probably put you to sleep with the joke portion because I have got an extravagant Christmas list. And if that doesn't put you to sleep, I gar you will definitely be put to sleep when I go over the uh, uh, scratch ticket we're gonna do. And also, I, I probably should mention that 20 Tuesday is this Tuesday, and I'm going to give away a couple of things. I want to give away a gemstone this Tuesday. On 20 Tuesday, I'll go live at the same time, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, probably for like an hour. And then I'll, get, I'll give away a gem. I'll also give away a quarter from a million dollars, purportedly. Rumor is that the quarter came from, or was at least one part, at one time from a million dollars it's hard to verify that but you know things these days so um anyway but Jim Siegel made it awesome hey Jim good to see you dude and Lizard King I wanted to mention uh, y g uh go ahead and make that video cuz I wanna see that and I was thinking maybe it has something relating to turquoise in it because that the turquoise is kind of a form of chalcedony with uh, copper in it and it's real smooth I mean it, it it's it's like a super fine powder and it's really smooth um, to the touch so it kind of made me you know the minty green was actually someone else exactly cuz um oh yeah that well it depends on which which bottom logged in with and who who I'm talking to so I you know I have the the YouTube administrator chat bot and then if I'm gonna game and hang out or solder and talk about stuff I'll probably go live on that channel that way my gemstone related notifications go out for the gemstone show M mail first mail me mail a quick video of the green rock as I can see if y'all can maybe help me figure it out yeah lizard I'll show it on the show too awesome bah humbug oh it, it, it's a great Christmas list Ron you never know we might hey we we have somewhere between uh, what is it two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and zero dollars here <laughs> Hey, Christina and Gun's Ghost Squad made it. Oh, that's fantastic. And Kiwi Claw made it. It is 20. Is it 20? Today is 20. No, it's not 20. Yeah, it's no, actually it is the 20th and Monday is the 21st and Tuesday is the 22nd. That's why it's 20 Tuesday for 22 Gemstones Plant Food. So, you think Tuesday on the 22nd that makes it that you know when the 22nd lines up with Tuesday that's 20 Tuesday so when is the next 20 Tuesday let's find out when the next 20 Tuesday is <clears throat> okay we scroll we scroll we scroll we scroll like we're a buttered roll June June is the next 20 Tuesday is the next June is the next time that the 22nd lines up with Tuesday so we'll have one uh, this Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern and we'll have a little giveaway and then we'll have another one all the way in June but that um, pretty much wraps up all I had in terms of content for the microscope portion of the show but that's okay because we can change to another portion of the show oh man is it really that portion of the show I don't know I can't tell are we ready for that portion of the show? No, I'm not. But I do. I actually, I've got a shout out. A good thing Gromies is here. I got a shout out because he gave me some really cool jokes. 
I think I got three jokes from Girl Me's, plus I think I have ten jokes and my Christmas list that I'm going to read to you guys. And that's all coming up on the fantastic and wonderful portion that we call the joke portion of the program. Let's see what I got this week, because I think it's 50-50. Welcome, Michigan native. Glad you came in here. You guys are great. I'm glad you stopped by to say hi, and I hope I can make you laugh with my little bit of a pathetic attempt at humor. Oh, where do you, this is a chess-related joke. I said I was going to write a chess joke. It's not very good, but I tried. Tried to write a chess-related joke. Where do you store pond? Wait a minute, let's go this way. Yeah, this always works a little better when we do it like this. Okay. Where do you store pond jewels in a treasure chess? Treasure chest, yeah. Pond jewels go in a treasure chest. Terrible. Let's move on to this thing. You know, because, I, I mean, chess is such a popular game. Some people are amazing. You ever see people try to play, like, ten different games at the same time? I did. I played ten different games at the same time. Blindfolded. Lost every one of them. Knocked over most of the pieces. They kicked me out. But I still play. I still like chess. I'm kidding about that. They, uh, they, they won't let me play. Um, dinner, let's see, a diner says, someone, uh, someone at the diner says, can you tell me what's different with this sauce? And the chef replies, I don't have the time. Couldn't put the time in the sauce. Made it taste a little different. Okay, what do you call cement that hits you on the head? Concrete. <laughs> and Gromies gave me some other concrete related jokes. Who doesn't love cement, right? Shout out to Gromies. What do you call criminal cement? Concrete. What kind of cement is found in Silicon Valley? Comcrete. Dot concrete. What do you call a cement milk bottle carrier? A concrete. Those are fantastic, Gromies. Great job, man. Those are the star of the joke portion right now. Let's see. We've got um, pretty much nothing else. Uh, why was the doctor good at curing crazy people? Because he had mad skills. And... What, let's see, a uh, person at the country club says, is this where we golf? And the groundskeeper replies, of course. Of golf course. What side of the boat does the captain look out of? The sea side. He wants to see the side that he's looking at. What do you call a mouse with a bottle opener? A church mouse. Shout out to the brew tube, a church, you know, a mouse, a church key, a mouse with a bottle opener. Yeah, one more, and then the Christmas time list. And really, folks, I mean, you can tell by the joke portion of the program, I die regularly. I understand. If I'm dying, pull the plug. You know how I love to save electricity. That's not it. That's not all we have for the joke portion. But that's all I wrote for the jokes for the joke portion. Let's. Where's the Christmas list? Cause man, I, it's Christmas time. I love Christmas time. It's such a cheery time. I don't let marketing or arguing or stress ruin my Christmas time. I just try to make it a cheery time. I try to spread the joy, and you know, occasionally I ask Santa for a couple of things. So, let's ask good old Santa for a few luxury items, shall we? Santa, I'd like to share some of these items with my friends. So if you don't mind, I would like to have some automatic leather gloves, a Bluetooth dog polisher, a pet yacht for my yacht so that my pet can have a yacht so we can go yachting together, an infrared car, a gold emblem in the driveway that reads Donut Park Here, a shower caddy, preferably a woman, to clean my balls, because I golf in the shower. All-weather toilet paper, 
a ninja in case I need any ninjaing done, a tree that grows security cameras, a goose that lays golden brown fried egg sandwiches, a top shelf anvil, a velvet lined fish bowl so Goldie can live in luxury, a luxury cell phone holder holder, a laser cut turtleneck because I want to look sharp, a sports grade shark saddle so I can compete with the professionals, artesian beer, a life-size replica of the Harlem Globetrotters, and a volcano. Thank you, Santa. I appreciate that. Just like I appreciate all of you for coming by for this week's joke portion of the program. I hope that brought you a little bit of cheer. Let's go ahead and, um, since I don't have a lot in the way of the rest of the gems, try and do this chess portion and then we'll scratch a lottery ticket and I'm going to thank you all so much for coming by. So, let's see, chess.com. And we can fire that up. Wait, where did it go? Where'd it go? It's supposed to be right here. There it is. Okay. Is it there? Did we get it? Okay, there it is. Great. That is great. Then we'll go boom. Hey, that's me. All right, so play online. We're going to step it up a notch. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get wiped off the board. Play as a guest. One minute game. Whew. Man, I'm going to lose. One minute game of bullet chess. Ooh, let's start with the queen's pawn open. That's actually a really bad idea. Yeah, they can cause a lot of mess if you do that. So, hmm, <laughs> how y'all doing? Oh, whoop, oh, whoa. Oh. Okay, the ad changed, so I was like, "Oh man, is stuff happening?" And it's not, so that's okay. We're fine. We're we're okay. Just kind of waiting, just chilling out, you know, waiting for for one minute game to get piped off the board. Why did I have to go to the extreme? I was like, extreme expert chess. Like, I actually know what I'm doing. <sighs> you, you you saw last week, I lost on ultra beginner chess, and that's pretty much where we are with it. So, um, I, you know what I'm going to do while we wait, is I'm going to start getting this, because I figure we could use the uh, the the rec the rectal gem cam the, wait what did we call it the rectoscope cam i don't know benny news ben, ben, benny called it something funny and uh we're going to use that for the uh wait what okay i th man i thought somebody hopped wait where's the thing we got to have the adapter okay so we're going to put this endoscope camera on the desk and use it to scratch the lottery ticket. And I don't know what we're going to scratch the lottery. Oh, whoa, ha, ah, ooh, um, hmm, whoa, uh, you, er, there, uh, th this one, that one. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm on the wrong side of the board. I don't remember how to play chess at all. How do I do this? Oh man, he's taking his time. I said I was an expert. I lied. I was fully lied. I completely lied with extra lying sauce. Yep. Ha-cha. Wait, go in there. Go into the phones. Gonna take uh, this one here. This guy still, he doesn't know that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Holy crap, how did I get in there? Uh, that one? He probably, he's probably like, this guy has no clue. And he's right, I don't. Okay, alright, so I did do the right side. Yay! Um, 
Um, I'm running out of time. Running out of time. I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan. Uh, he's running out of time. Okay, there. We're gonna go a little faster because that we're running out of time. I'm gonna go uh here, and we're gonna go uh uh like uh I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm out of time. Oh. Dang. Well, he won. That was fun anyway. <laughs> that was exciting. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun little game of trying to have some chess fun. Let's see, where's the microscope case? Oh, we are hooked up. Hook it up, dude. Yeah, it's upside down. I think I'd like to do a little camera work Tell me in the chats what gem we should use to scratch the lottery ticket. Me and the skater buddies came in force, disrupted the chess environment at the skaters, taking the top six places. Oh man, nice job. Yeah, dude, the top, dude, chess is so much fun at the time. We were nerds too, just a different kind. Mm hmm. Too much to remember. Oh, Benny, Benny. That, uh, Grandmaster Ben Feingold says if you want to be good at chess all you got to do is play a lot of chess that's that was that was the tip all right I'm gonna try and actually let's see if we can is it like that All right. This thing's bendable, but it's not really friend friend friendly bendable. It's it's like it's like I don't want to bend a bull. Okay. Almost. Here we are. You know what we should do is use some obsidian, right? That makes complete sense. We will use a piece of obsidian, right? Obsidian, that makes sense, yeah. Obsidian, we gotta use obsidian because it's part of the show. Okay, and we got a piece, right? Okay, we're gonna see how well this piece, I mean, if we're gonna do it, Big money, big money. We're going to use the piece that has the Tootsie Roll on it. And uh, it's, I mean, you know, it's on there. That Tootsie Roll is, yeah. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. All right, so let's see if we can do this lottery ticket. And Joan, if you're still awake, this will put you to sleep. Because I, I, I really don't know how to do this. We just kind of scratch it, right? I think this piece is way too big. Way too big. It's way too big. Yep, I'm actually scratching into the stuff. Let's get a reasonable sized piece. Maybe I should be using like metal or something. So I don't scratch all the ink away the ink spots hey did you know that Kiwi I was playing that Fallout game Fallout 3 Fallout game of the year edition and you know what I'm going to do I'm going to use obsidian to scratch the bonus multiplier, but I'm going to actually use the quarter from a million dollars to do the scratch ticket. I think it's going to be a lot faster, and we'll have better results. You'll be able to see what we're doing. See, because most of those scratches are so deep, it's hard to see what, I mean, what exactly is that? It's an R, it's an N, it's a J. If too big, send over, oh, you got it. So easy a caveman can do it. <laughs> Benny, that's hilarious. 
Okay, so we got the R, the letter R. Yeah, that looks like an R. That that's that's probably an R. So we'll go R. There R in this ticket. That would suck if I screwed it up and I was like, oh, we won, but we didn't. Tarnish. That's what they're going to say. They're going to say, no, nope, you scratched it with a gem instead of a coin. You can't have any money. Because we're going to get rich off of this one, aren't we? Oh, man. Can't you just... That's... I, I did this the last couple of years, and I, I think it was kind of fun to scratch a lottery ticket on the live stream. All right, I think we got all the R's in that game, and we're not winners yet, but that's all right. We're always winners. Even if we just lost, we pick ourselves up, we move forward. We like the word Cory because there's two R's. We we want you know we want words that are R friendly. We want words like rubble rubber 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 rubber. The sound that people make when they try to describe the problem with their car. What does how how does a pi how does a pirate tell their mechanic that their car has a problem? What does it sound like? Oh, farmer. Hey, that's an R friendly word. Right on. Red Ranger. Red Rover. Send the R's right on over. There's a W. Do we have any W's? Do we have any single U's? Do we have a single double U? No. Oh, there's a little game. Okay, so we have R. Which, um, oh, you can't, you guys can't see. Dag nabbit. Jacob sucks with cameras. Okay. Curtain has an R. Pita. They could have made it Rita. Why didn't they make it Rita? Rita's a great gal. Got curtain. That's it. And W's? No W's. N. Is there a letter and a gent? Hey, we try to be a gentleman all the time. Let's see. Except when you don't want to be gentle. N. We're going backwards here. Mine. Yours and mine. Has a, we go into the mine to mine the diamonds. There's an N right there for astronomy. No me. Lots of me. Too much me. And you'll feel queasy. Bison has an N in it. B I S O N. Absence. I'm I'm sensing an absence in my wallet since I spent money on this lottery ticket for the show and it probably won't win. Insect is how I feel when they take my money like that. Let's see. There's no more ends in there and there okay so then we come to this part ring hey r a ring we know what rings are right gemstones hashtag gemstones rings jewelry make it happen making it happen oh wow there's like a, a printing error oh okay oh it was just a bump dag nabbit I was like hey we got an error or something like that uh, let's see. N, 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 N. Minute, minutes. Minutes has an N in it. It's just a minute amount of N, but it's there. Tarnish. That's that's uh, what I'm gonna be able to clean off after I win all this money. 
Um, a, um, tangerine has two ends. Oh, we like tangerines. We don't, but, you know, that's because they're gross. But we like them because they're delicious when they help us win all that money. Cash dollar dollar. ka chain ka -ching. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the ends. You guys let me know if I miss something, okay? If I lose... Well, I guess we'll just scan it at the store, but that's a different thing. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> What's the N? Is there any Ys? Y. No, they, they didn't have any Ys, because we are not very wise. Friendly. Oh, there's an economy Y and toy. Toy is what we're going to buy and stimulate the economy with all this money gonna spend it by our own quarry that way we can mine things in our quarry is there any other wise tangerine wants to have a Y but it doesn't it's alright we don't hate you tangerine um let's see do we have any Ys nope Let's see, there's a J. So we can actually be like J. And there's not a lot of words that have J in them. Usually just great ones like Jacob. Yep. Usually reserved for names. It's alright, we're moving on. Do we have any of the letter D anywhere in any of this? Letter D, letter D. Lender. The lender has the letter D. Um, cause we're we're gonna be a lender of money when we have all this. We're gonna have money to lend, money to spend, money that we can use to buy us a friend used friends yeah that's what I should have I, I should make that my my personal ad used friend cheap there's mad lead oh man that's what we're gonna spray if we don't win scritchy scratchy scritchy scratch um erode that's what this thing's doing to me it's making me erode the top of this lottery ticket off so that I can see it and the other letter D's kind. That's hey, that's that's this show. We're kind. That's what the lottery needs to be to us is kind. That's what we want to chief on, right, Gromies? It's kind. Um not seeing a whole lot more D's except for here. Oh oh man. Two D's in a row. Add. You can just add another point onto your good points thing because you had D's and disco well you know disco do it do it zodiac has a D in it sure does just like the word dog zodiac dog you down that's it for D's we like that one that was a profitable letter almost alright let's get a couple more D we got VPLO. So we got, let's see, V. And I'm messing out on the card. Dag it. Let's see. Alright, so. V for. Very close, but no cigar. V, 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 V. V, 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 V V V V V V V V V V V V V Not C in any V at all. Well, we'll come back to that. Okay, so P, the letter P. Is the letter P anywhere in Mole Hill? Nope. Minetes. Nineties. Nineties. That's what it is. I thought it was minutes, but I can't read. Nineties, and we missed an N. How did I miss the N? Let's see, we've got a P 
in the word tarnish. No, we don't. That, that doesn't sound like it has a P at all. Well, poopy sticks. We got, let's see, where's the letter P? P is not on there at all either. And sp spirit has P. That's what we're going to do. We're going to drink a lot of spirits after we lose on this card. Cap. Cap has a P. That's the, that's what my wallet has, which is why I can't win all this money. Um, PETA. PETA has a P. We like that. That's we're, that's probably the only thing we're going to have in our pocket is a PETA. Because we ain't going to win. Because we ain't getting any letters. L. Let's see. L. L. There's no L's on there. There's an L here. Lead. See if we can be led to victory, you know? Lead. <clears throat> we'll turn lead into gold, right? If we can. Let's see if that lead turns into gold. L for calf. Which, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to afford great gym memberships and we can train our calves we can afford gym memberships for our cattle and then we can really train our calves tolerant we're gonna be tolerant uh, a lot of things if we have the money to see there's no other L's in there Okay, where is the letter L? Hill. Mole Hill. Hey, we actually made a dent in that word. Well, there we go. Laser. Aw, oh, dude, the word laser. Yep. Mole Hill has three L's. Man, we are just... That, that word is great. We're liking it. We're liking it now. And that's it for O's. L's. L's. Now we got oh, O's. Oh. Oh, man. I hope we can win some money. Oh, baby, iron, iron. We got the, we got the big iron, big iron on our hip. Ranger with the big iron on his hip. Oh yeah, we got toys that we can afford from long ago. And we can get the new ones too. We have the cash to do so. Bison has an O in it. Bis on. Turn your bis on. Turn your bison on. Tolerant. That's got an O in it. Oh, we want to win some cash today. Oh, disco. Disco. Disc, disc, disc is going to be a place to go. If I can afford it, I will buy up a disco. And dog, we'll, we, you know what, we'll have a disco for dogs. That'll be great. We just need the money to start it. And you know where we might be able to get that? A lottery ticket. That's it for the letter O. Let's scratch a couple more. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. More. And then goes over to there. All right, so uh, let's see. It looks like X and K are the last letters. Um, we got B. We, we can be all we can be. Because if we don't win any money, we're going to have to join the army. Bison has a B in it. My, there's a B in my bonnet, but nothing on the card. Absent. Yeah, I'd, I would say that most of the bees are absent. Just like dollars from a wallet. And there are no bees in the word disco. I would like to change the spelling of the word disco, please. Oh, ha, huh, they're so kind. They gave us the letter Q. At least now we can scratch part of the word quarry. Q... Magic. It's a magical letter. I don't see any other letter Q's, but I'm going to keep an eye out just in case. 
All right, so we got H. H is in here, right? Itch. Trying to scratch that itch with a couple of dollars. Dollars are very scratchy for itches. Itchy for scratch. No. Yeah, scratchy for. Yep. Scratches do the itches. Tarnish. That's how we're going to feed. Oh, Molehill has one. We're going to have a molehill of money if we win a little bit. We're going to make this molehill into a mountain. H, H, H. Looking for the H. Where's the H? Nothing yet. Still don't have any words. And we're almost done. Oh, man. You guys are going to see me lose twice in one night. We got the letter A, so we can scratch part of laser. Oh yeah, and we had the letter R, so I can, yeah. We can do laser ring. Laser ring. So the letter A for satin, which is what we're going to line everything with as soon as we win the money. Letter A, baby. Oh, baby. Tarnish. There's an A in Tarnish. There's an A in Anti. Which is what I'm going to be, is Anti-Lottery when I don't lose for another year. And then come next year, we're going to be Pro-Lottery and buy another ticket. Do it on stream. Tangerine. We'll put an A in Tangerine because we want Jake to win big. Okay, so there's an A in absent. That that that's cool. That gets us closer to having the word quarry. We want a quarry. If we get quarry, do we win a quarry? That would be fantastic. A right there in tolerant. Tolerant has been such an A plus word calf. We can we can put an A in calf in astronomy and farmer. Which is what a lot of my great viewers are as farmers. We got some um, some great farmers. Oh, Mad Lead has A's. A's. That's how we feel. We feel like an A's when we get A's in Mad Lead. All right. So A, and then we have an A in. Yeah, I'm going to try and bend this down a little more. So that you can see. A in add. Oh, we got a word in the bonus game. Look at that. We got an add, a word. Bam. We got it. Okay, so. A in agent. A in Kurt Ain. And Zodiac. Zodiac. A and cap. Or is that an A and cap? An A and PETA? Or that's an A. A for PETA. A. PETA. And that's it for A's. For now. Okay, I'm going to clean this thing off. And... Get ready to scratch a little more. Oh man, you guys are fantastic. I'm sorry I'm missing great chats here. Supermarket, I still this day don't know why they chased her. Her or something. I don't know what I missed, but you guys are fantastic. Till the dye pack accidentally goes off and are, uh, yep, yeah, colored, colored smur, uh, smurfs. I was thinking smurtles. Like, like the marshmallow turtles? Yeah. Hey, Chicha B's here. Welcome, Chicha. <clears throat> we're scratching a lotto ticket. And we're almost done losing for the second time in the stream. Uh, let's see. We got C and G. And we got K and X. And then there's two more letters. So let's do the C and see if we can see anything. I know Disco has a letter C in it, but there's not any letter C's up here, is there? Except for cut. It, uh, an itchy cut. 
<clears throat> scratchy, itchy cut. Itchy, scratchy, cutty, scratch, itch. Act. Act has a C in it. We, 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 we can act all high class once we get the money. And there's a C in my pocket. Oh, there's a C in quick set. But the word pocket's not on here. Okay, quicks, quickest. Quick set. I, not, I've been laying too much concrete. Absence does not have the absence of the letter C. Calf. Yep, there's a C in calf. I'm happy about that half. <clears throat> Are there any other C's until we get to disco? I know there's one in disco, so we're going to scratch that disco C. See? See, I'm scratching the C in disco. And Zodiac has a C, and so does Curtain. Hey, man, we're doing all right on this little game. We got two whole words. I think we got to have like five or something. Uh, let's see. Three or more words in a game. Well, there you go. We got two of them on that one. Um, let's see. We've got C. G. Maybe there's a G. Let's go backwards. A gent. We're going to be such a gentleman once we have all this money. A gent. G. 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 There wasn't a whole lot of. J's either, was there? A go? Ago. Yeah, it's gonna be so long ago that I wished that I had won on this lottery ticket after I'm done with the lottery because we're not gonna win anything. Let's see. G, 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 G. Tangerine. We love Tangerine for being there because it gave us the G. And there's uh, basically. A G and ring. We like the ring of that. A ring a ding, baby. And that's it for the letter G, unless I missed something. So we've got the K and the X. Let's knock out the K and the X, because I don't think there's a lot in the way of X or K on this. There's the, there's the well, K and quickest. Hot diggity dickest. X, any, any, any X's at all? Ever? Do they ever have an X? Anywhere? In any of them? No? No X's? Alright. Any other K's? K, baby? Give me a K. Mail it away. Send it on down the road. We don't even have any words on these top two. There's only two letters left. What are we going to do? Lose. We got a letter U. Maybe we can use that. <laughs> Hut has a letter U in it. Now, if we only had the word Java, we could use him to get some of this lottery money. He's probably in control of the lotto. Uh, let's see. Issue has a U. Doesn't do much for us. Min, min, minuet has wanted to say minute. Man. Stuck on that minute game of chess. And is there any other U's that I wasn't expecting to see? Quarry. Hey, we got that word. I wanted that. Do we win a quarry now? We should. I mean, we deserve one after all this mining that we've done for these letters. Quick, 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 quick. Guest, you are not the quickest. Lottery scratcher. Gee whiz. Curtain has a U in it. But we're pretty far off from having that word. We gotta have two letters and we only have one left to scratch. So that's the U. Now, what are we gonna have be our last letter? <clears throat> I can't tell. Oh, it's the letter I. I never would have guessed it. So we can take Mole Hill... 90s minuet kind of surprised it was a vowel and satin and ring oh hey we got a word ring iris tarnish 
Hitch. Tangerine. Anti. I wonder if there's an I in anti. And we basically got one word in that game. How about this one? Quickest, quick set is the quickest. Kind, so that's a second word. We got quarry and kind, so that's two words. But I don't see any other eyes that are going to get us a whole word. Mine. That money is supposed to be mine. And we lost that money. So we're going to have to try again next year. Because I don't see the letter I helping us out a lot on this one. Didn't really raise our spirits. Didn't buy us any pita pockets. Pita's for our pockets. We can't afford the disco. And we didn't have the T for the curtains. Oh, hey, there is three words. Well, at least we got our money back, right? We got ad, cap, and dog. I guess that counts as three words. So we're not complete losers. Isn't that always fun? Oh, and we got to get the eye for bison. And it's hard to say. I mean, maybe I missed a couple of letters or something, but we didn't get any S's or T's or E's or M's. I think that's pretty much all that we were allowed left. So anyway, I said we were going to use the obsidian to scratch, and we're going to use the big obsidian. to scratch this. Bonus multiplier. Yay! One times! The money that we won. Hooray! We get our money back. <laughs> it's a song that's why I typed it that way oh it always is the song it's the song we sing it's called breaking even is better than losing out completely you guys are all fantastic I'm glad you hung around and saw that and if you if you uh, fell asleep during this Joan I'm proud of myself I'm proud of all of you for being so great and coming and hanging out and I hope that you can join me on my upcoming interviews with Sam Whitfield, Christian Blatt, and Tom Kelly of The Tom Kelly Show. It's hilarious. Uh, we're going to be featuring another game of chess next week. And hopefully I'll be a little bit better. I'm going to be streaming on the 22nd. Tuesday, we're going to give away, I got to come up with a gem, I don't know which gemstone I'm going to give away on the 22nd. We should probably make it some kind of a red or green or red and green combo. Not sure. I can't play these scratch-offs. I feel like I'm reading really boring book. Oh, Lizard, it, it, yeah, it's a boring thing. That's why I only do it once a year. I mean, there's, there's channels where people do scratch-off tickets, and they're great. And I like checking them out once in a while. And so I don't want to really like try and encroach. But I do like to branch out. And I thought, you know, having a scratch off ticket would be a great way to kind of add a little bit of joy to the show. And you, you guys all get you get the feeling of maybe it's going to be a winner. And then now, now it's, it's usually best to invest your money in something a little better. It's, it's fun. I mean, you know, there's the bingo ones. There's the other ones. And I, you know... Um, we, we try. We're going to try again next year. It's going to happen. Yep. So that's why I hope that I can see you all next year. I can see you on Tuesday, the 22nd, at 9 p.m. Eastern. And I can see you guys next week and every week at this time. 9 p.m. Eastern for the Gemini with Jacob and Chess Show. Where you, the audience, are the fantastic star. We love you. And so I'll see you all next week.